Oh man, so many guys are asking, hey Xbox, when are you guys gonna create a short dart inline version for the pilot? If you guys already know, we created a normal short dart conversion here, which just shoots one dart at a time out of this and it's roughly shooting about 150 to 140 fps we were using worker gen 3 so you should get somewhere right in there and they shoot really really hard now we went ahead and did it here it's the same kind of concept just a little bit smaller of a barrel but in essence it takes about 20 seconds to put this thing on and most of it is just unscrewing the front here um to get it out of this thing but it's the same concept we have the inline sleeve which is on the inside which you can just pull out just like that, boom, and you're back to rival if you wanna shoot. Or if you wanna go back to this, just throw it in and screw the front on, which takes the longest out of all this. Uh, go ahead and screw it on. Now we went with this design because this makes it a lot more secure than having some type of collet design on the front where you kind of uh, pressure fit you know, plastic on plastic. We all know that stuff wears out over time and I'm not gonna do that where I can only use it three or four times before the plastic on plastic just doesn't grip anymore. This secures everything up and we're roughly getting about 105 to 110 FPS depending on again, which dart you use. We are using worker gen threes, but look at that, whoo, look at that. You can, th you can fit three to four darts in here. I typically recommend three, but four is perfectly fine. If you want maximum performance, you can take out your air restrictor, but the air restrictor removal is not necessary in this case. So again, you can just kind of go back and forth, but I do recommend it for tops here. Let's just take a quick look at the kit here because I want you guys to see this. So look, the kit is straightforward. You got the suppressor, you got the inline thing, and you are ready to rock and roll. Literally box to blaster mod ready in Again, 30 seconds, somewhere right in there. We are gonna have a bunch of various colors ready, but typically orange and yellow are the first ones that I push out initially, but check that out. And then just looking at it here on the blaster, look at me, look at me right there. Look at that, it's crazy. Um, it looks good on the blaster. I mean, it doesn't really add much to the weight. It shoots really accurate. I think that it's a, a sweet little hop up, especially if you wanna go that inline route. I do plan, of course, yes, to make a mega version. A lot of you guys were asking, hey, Xbox, when are you gonna make the mega version? That is up next. I'm actually testing it right now. I'm just kind of tweaking it to make sure that, you know, I can get maximum performance out of that thing. I don't wanna give you guys something that's just not that great, right? But I think, and I, I still wanna suppress her and I wanna do all that good stuff. I actually really want to redo this whole top here and really make it kind of, you know, have it integrated like dart storage on there and all that good stuff. But that is gonna come second or maybe even third after a few other designs I have. But there you go. A lot of you guys were asking when the inline version is done. This should be up on our Etsy store as this video is, or as you're probably watching this video. And again, we price these things reasonably so you guys can get them inside your guys' hands. I do like the locking mechanism all in here because again, you can undo this and do it 50 times and you're gonna be good compared to some other designs that I've seen where you kind of got to twist the collet on the front and I just, I already know that, that wears down over time and you gotta, it comes, comes shaky. But there you go, the inline version is out. Hope you guys like it, check our Etsy store. We got more stuff coming along. <laughs> Thanks again, Fox fans.